what's up to my subscribers and hello if you're new here my name is Christina Dewitowitz I'm a former TV news reporter shooting all things lifestyle hairstyle petite fashion even though I don't consider myself a true fashionista but I am so happy you're here thank you for tuning in today's video is about my favorite topic bags so I shot some type of work bag video not that long ago and then I saw to pack my work bag with me which might have been with this or it might have been my black Tory Burch tote bag it's over here on this side somewhere but this is the bag I've been using recently I absolutely love this every time I look at it I'm like so happy and I just think it's like such a perfect size but with winter basically already being here in Montana even though at the time of shooting this video the snow hasn't fallen yet I know it is coming I think it's time Time to switch bags because my warmest coat that I have is from Old Navy. It's really big and puffy, a black jacket, and I just don't want any color transfer to possibly happen. I don't know if it would, but just in case, I'm going to switch my bag over. And the timing could not be more perfect because I got a new bag for Christmas, and it is the Longchamp Le Pelage. Le, Le Pelage something like that you know what I mean this is a very popular bag I actually already have one in a different color the olive green version this is my favorite and I've used this for years I am a big fan of Longchamp because the quality is always there and I can't remember if I got this maybe my junior or senior year of college or right when I started my first job outside of college in Texas. But look at the condition this is in. It is still so good. The only signs of wear are really on the corners. Oh, and then there is a stain. Okay, so like if you can see the corners right here, I should probably get really close. But can you see the corners? They're kind of torn up on actually every corner but this thing has held up so well the handles are still in amazing condition like I also will use this I will use this bag as a work bag a travel bag really anything but just recently like within the last two months my zipper broke it's still here it's still connected but I can't and maybe this can be fixed but I just don't see how I can do this myself. Um, but yeah, it's like separated from the other zipper. Also, it's starting to tear right here as well. So I think it really, oh, and also on this, I, I really have used this back to death. But the fact that there are just minor signs of wear and tear apart from the zipper being separated from the other side, it is still a really great bag. Like I've had other designer purses that cost more than this. Like Rebecca, uh, I got a Rebecca Mingoff tote from uh, Nordstrom Rack one time and the straps were already fraying and I just didn't understand. And I, it was just really unexpected. And then this is just around a hundred bucks. So much better. Like the, the straps are still in amazing condition. Like as, like I said earlier. Also, this is just very easy to clean and I just love it. So if you are looking for a starter designer piece that is an affordable designer piece, I definitely recommend Longchamp. And I don't know, maybe some of you don't consider this a designer tote, but I, I do. So then when that zipper broke, I decided, you know what? I love Longchamp. I want another tote bag from them and I want a large one. I actually thought this was a medium size. So I linked my husband, Chris, the tote bag that I wanted not realizing until Christmas morning that I linked him the medium size. So they're small, medium, and then large, but on the description, it doesn't say large. It just doesn't have, an, I, I don't know, maybe they've changed it. But we had to exchange it for this full size version. And yeah, I just I was like, I don't really need a medium size. Like it's just too small. It's just kind of awkward for me. So I would really just stick with the large, but also I was looking at the small tote bag and like, it's actually small. Like the straps are much short. It's kind of like top handle strap. And I thought it was kind of cute. So maybe in the future down the road, I will get a small uh, long shop, Le Pelage, Le Pelage, whatever. Anyways, if you guys are not familiar, I want to show you what it looks like when it's all packed up because I think it looks pretty cool. So when you get it from the store, it's going to be packed up like this. And it just makes storage, like, easy. 
but like this obviously it's not packed up i haven't folded in years so this is just kind of hanging out and i don't really want to get rid of this because i love it so much it was like one of my first designer pieces like a bag that to me at the time 100 bucks i was like oh that's a lot but i've had it for so long so it's kind of sentimental in a way so now let's go ahead and make the switch you can see this has the silver hardware detail instead of the gold like that green one and you can also see a lime green i think this is like uh, made of recycled material the pocket on the inside also looks a bit bigger than the one yeah yeah it is so this is a smaller inside pocket compared to this one which is much bigger the inside is white so i'm not sure how i feel about that i wish it was black just because you're going to be able to see every dirty detail but these but these bags are actually pretty easy to clean I actually threw this one in the washing machine on the delicate cycle air dried it of course and it was perfect but this uh, i don't know i think this even has a little cleaning symbol that says do not put in the washing machine i wonder what this one says this one is all faded and i can't read it but it looks like the same uh i had a coworker in texas who told me that i could do that so i, I listened to her so I'm kind of second guessing myself now. I don't really feel as prepared because my plan was to not use an insert or a purse organizer in this because I really like the slouchy look. I like that it's not a structured bag, but it can be if you want it to easily with a little purse organizer. But I just really don't want to do that. I just love, just I just like it slouchy. So let's just see, let's just see. Okay. So this is my current work bag. We're gonna switch everything over. I don't have too much in here. You'll notice I don't have my Louis Vuitton planner. I have decided to switch over this year to use this planner. I talked about it on Instagram. This is a strictly monthly planner. So let me switch to an empty one. Take a look at this. This is really similar to those big flat monthly calendars that you can find at the dollar store or Target really anywhere and lay it flat on your desk and then just rip the page as you go through each month or flip it over like I like to do. But the difference is you can pack this up, it still is nice and thin, and take it with you in your tote bag. So I really like this because I'm using this for just everything. This is my everything calendar, my appointments, my content, uh, vacation, like things like that. So I didn't think this actually existed. So I was super excited when I found this. This was the only design option they had though. I wish they had other ones, but you know what? This was the only, I had to get it. And I am so far, I am really, really happy with this. And I just think it's so perfect because go to work, lay it flat, have it out on my desk the whole day when it's time to go home, close it and bring it. Like it's, and it takes up no space. Okay, that was my little rant on that. <laughs> happy rant okay so let's officially go ahead and move everything so first i've got this little gucci pouch that i have all of my female essentials in here my just in case things like that in case of an emergency i also have a perfume roller ball in here a pen sunscreen powder lotion i want to zoom this out a little oops okay so you can probably sit a little more i always like to show like the actual like what i'm doing here you can see more of the floor. I'm wearing sweatpants right now. I want to be comfy. Um, okay, so let's see. So here's my long chomp. I'm going to put this in first. And then from there, I have my sunglasses, which I did take with me when I was running errands today. So I'm just going to uh, just slide that in there somewhere. Um, I have this. Lululemon backpack, <laughs> a little mini backpack. I've got the Dior lip oil, the Dior lip balm. I have oil blotting sheets, Advil, band-aids, kind of like an emergency pouch. So kind of similar to this one, but this has just, I don't know. I just have, I like having little pouches for things. So close that up. I should probably be organized, restructure everything. I don't know, we'll see. 
this needs to go in my car. This is a tote bag that I think would be nice. Like, like if we ever move back to Colorado, which that is the game plan to eventually be back in Colorado, they don't use plastic bags anymore. You have to re bring your own bags at the grocery store, really the, everywhere. And this would be nice to have. So I wanted to leave this in my car because I feel like we go to Colorado every year. So this was only in there to remind myself to leave in my car and then I never did. I got some gum, which I am going to put in here in the little pocket. I've got my work keys, so I'm going to put that in there as well. Hand sanitizer is going to go in that little pocket for easy access. I've got this oil thing that I only brought home so I can wash, so that's going to stay out. I've got two hair ties. I only need one. I'm going to use the brown one. Put that away. I've got chapstick for easy access in this little pocket. My work ID also going in this little pocket. And pepper spray, which will also go in that little pocket. Let's get the planner and put that in here. And that's everything in this bag. So while it looked quite full in this tote, it uh, this bag is still pretty empty. But look, you can see how slouchy it already looks. And that's what I want. That's the look I'm going for. Problem is now that this pocket in here is just weighing a little too heavy. Like, it's not what I want. So I might have to do some reorganization. Let's see. But also, I like having this tote bag because if I wanted to bring my MacBook, while it will fit in here, it's not, it, like it still sticks out. Like, let me show you, let me go grab my MacBook. Okay, so here is my MacBook. This is the MacBook Pro 13 inch. And I put it in this bag that way. So it's still sticking out. I'm not, I don't think it will fit. Oh, it does fit. But usually when I have all of my work stuff, it won't fit that way. Um, it's easier the other way. So, yeah. but when I use my long shop, I like to put it in this way. So hidden and it's perfect. But I don't do that every time, just when I carry this, just when I need to. Anyways, so wow, my bag just feels so empty and incomplete now. I feel like typically I need more things. Like if I wanted to use my Louis Vuitton planner, which is right over here, it'll, it'll fit no problem. Let's see. But let's reorganize because I feel like I'm not using this bag to its full potential and sunglasses. I want a different pair of sunglasses. All right, I think I'm gonna stick with these inverted Ray-Bans. They are a little lopsided. And a friend had told me that the reason, like they were perfect when I first bought them and then over time, which I haven't had these that long, maybe six months, but over time, if you, like if this is sat on a table and you pick it up with just one hand and you just go like this, oh, I can't even do it. But it, say you pick it up and you go like that, you're bending the frames yourself. So that's the whole reason why that's happening. But I do love these. So I'm going to make these my new purse sunglasses. I'm going to put it in this case. This is a case from Key. It's an old one. Let's reorganize. I saw a video where one girl literally stuffed this bag with like everything. So I kind of want to copy her. She's my inspo. I also need to replace my hair pins in here. Let's go get some bobby pins. I'm just really confused with myself because my work bag when I worked in TV news was always so heavy, I feel like. I feel like I carried so much with me. And then I guess I just have learned here with my new job outside of news that I really don't need that many things. But since I have the space, I thought, you know what, let's go and see what would I like to have with me that I couldn't carry before. Now that I have all this space. So I went back to my little bag collection, my tiny bags, and I got this and I have this that I actually did used to use in my um, black Tory Burch tote. And then I also found this and I decided to go with this. I've already filled it up and I've switched out this. 
So let's go ahead and go over everything because right now I'm a little conflicted. You can see it's stuffed and I could easily just toss this in here. And then that would and then that would be the end of it. And then let me try and give you a look here. See, so that would be it. But what I've also put in here is the small Lululemon backpack, the tiny one. See? So if I were to take that out, I'll have two, and I could still easily put it in here. And then if I were to put my laptop in here and the charger, I would still have plenty of room because as you can see, this is how it looks now. I'll show you a different angle when we go through everything. But I think that's the way I'm going to go with this bag. And I just feel like everything is easily accessible. I can grab anything I need and I have room to grow. The reason why I decided to switch out of this Gucci bag is because I feel like I needed something a little more slim rather than something a little more round. And I thought this was perfect. And I'll show you another reason why I picked this bag over these two. Okay, so here is my long shop completely filled up. Let's open it up so you can see. I think the other way will be a little easier, but here it is. You can see everything inside. And of course, like I mentioned, room to grow. So if I wanna throw in my MacBook, which I already put away, but it would fit easily in here. Normally I would fill it on, I would, normally I would insert it on this side so that it is against my body and not just out in the open where it could hit anything. It would just hit my body, um, my planner, and then this bag, my sunglasses, which are in here, and then the backpack, which I've completely reorganized. So I will show you these in a sec. Let me throw my sunglasses back in here and I am sticking with these inverted Ray-Bans. I absolutely love these. This of course is not the case. This is the key case. And then on this side, you can see I just have a few things. So I've got my work ID, my keys for my office at work, hand sanitizer, easily accessible. And then of course, pepper spray, easily accessible. And then if I were to throw everything back in there, my phone would of course also go in there. But also depending on how it looks in here, I might just toss it in here, but normally I would put it in that pocket, especially, especially because this is a much bigger pocket compared to the one in my other long shop. So now let's go through the other bags. So let's go over the Lulu Lemon Mini backpack. So in here, of course, if you have this, then you know that this is not a real pocket. I didn't realize that until I got it in the mail and I was a little upset, but you know what? It just means it's extra deep. So here's everything in here. I've decided to really stuff it just like I saw in that video I mentioned to get the most use out of this. And mostly everything in here are small items that I feel like could easily get lost. So we've got a few different hair tie options, different colors. I've got a few, I've got a few lip products. I've got the lip, Dior Lip Glow, the Chanel Lip Balm, overpriced, but I really like it. I've only had it twice now in my life. This Bite Beauty lipstick, I don't know if Bite Beauty is still a thing, but I absolutely love that. It is, it is a little old, so it's okay though. Uh, this chapstick I got for free. This is probably the best. It was a free chapstick at a business here in town. And I would have to say that this is the best free chapstick I've ever gotten like from a jar. It is a, what is this flavor? It is a blueberry lemonade lip balm. It is the best. So those are the lip products I have. And then I've got some floss. I got this from Amazon. You just never know. And I always open this the wrong way when you're going to need floss. And I like that it already comes with a few and I can easily refill these if I need. So I have some Advil, always good to have on hand. And then I've got some gum. This is not my favorite gum. My favorite is actually the, uh, the cubed one, the icebreakers gum, but it's bad for dogs. I think all gum is bad for dogs, but I think the icebreaker, icebreaker one is the worst. I've got some oil blotting sheets, a makeup remover wipe just in case. Like I like to use these. I 
I like to use these if I have a facial after work. Um, it's just easier to use one of these than to run home and wash my face. Uh, Band-Aids. I've got some clear hair ties when I really should be using black instead of clear and some bobby pins. I have like four wrapped in here. And another Band-Aid. Oh, this hair tie I didn't even see earlier. So we've got another hair tie there. And I've got some tweezers and a little dongle for my phone in case I ever need to connect something that I can't easily connect to my phone. I'll have this as a backup. And that is it for that. Let's push this all to the side. I'll fill that up later. So here is the other bag that I'm going to keep in my Longchamp purse. This is from Rothy's and I absolutely love, you know, everything from Rothy's is machine washable. This is nice and soft. So it's structured, but it's still like, it still gives you that slouchy look. So I like that a lot. And look at this, I can, let's open it up. Okay, so you can see I've got quite a few things in here and it's not even completely full. So in here I've got some female essentials along with a few tampons. You just never know, okay? What if a friend needs one? What if you need one? You're gonna be prepared. I've got some body spray. This is from Bath & Body Works. This is from Bath & Body Works, the Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. I had to include a full-size brush. I could easily throw in a mini brush, which is currently in my car. I don't have a second one, but I do have plenty of full-size brushes. So I was like, you know what? Let me see if this fits. And it does. So that's the main reason why I went with this bag, because while I have a little brush in my car, I have one at my work desk. What if I'm out and about and not in my car? I have this brush, so I am prepared. I've got my AirPods. This Christian Dior lip balm, well, it's a balm, so it's for your body and for your lips. It's actually quite nice. It's not scented, actually. I have one pen, a rollerball perfume, which I am almost out of. So once this is out, I will toss it, and then I'll still be set because I have this body spray. I've got lotion. This is the Lavender Vanilla Lotion from Bath & Body Works. A... Uh, what do you call this? Sunscreen powder, which is an absolute must for me. This is actually replaceable. I really do want a new one. Uh, this is SPF 45. I, especially with my dark spots and just sun damage, I really need a sunscreen powder. That way it won't ruin my makeup. And then another lip balm uh, from Vaseline Lip Therapy. All right guys, so that is everything that I will be keeping in my new long shot bag. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited for it. I just feel like getting a new bag, whether it's for work or a night out or just every day, it's just exciting to me, I love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bag videos are some of my favorite to watch. I just absolutely love seeing what's inside. Like, are we all just creepy? Like we love seeing what's inside everyone's bag. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next video. Bye.